I'm Marcel Fontenot. This is a look at headlines from the KATC newsroom for this Wednesday, May 19th. We now know at least four people have died in this week's storms and floods here in Louisiana. According to the health department, the body of a 61 year old man was found in a car that was submerged in a ditch on Preen Lake Road in Lake Charles. His death is the city's first flood related death. The other three storm related deaths happened in East Baton Rouge and West Baton Rouge parishes. While it's a common sight after heavy rains or floods, wildlife that's being forced into populated areas, wildlife and fisheries agents warning everyone to be aware and minimize contact if you come into contact with these animals. Also, they suggest not feeding them. While moving on to other news in Broussard, city officials are now looking for the person who will fill the police chief's seat. A nine person committee will accept applications until Friday. If you recall, Brandon Deku announced his retirement earlier this month after an investigation into sexual harassment allegations by a former employee. He will remain chief until June 1st. The interim chief will serve until the next regular election in the fall of next year. Well, in St. Landry Parish, discussions on raises for school employees continues. The school board held a special meeting to discuss a number of issues today, including a potential parish wide bond proposition that would pay for those raises. The board also discussed potentially renovating school tracks and athletic facilities across the parish. Superintendent Patrick Jenkins says to be a triple A system, improvements are a must. Uh, we want to be a triple A school district uh, in athletics, uh, academics, as well as the arts. Uh, but it also requires us to have first class um, facilities as well. In Lafayette Parish, expect a little less traffic on Ambassador Caffrey next year. According to the advocate, Chick-fil-A will close its current location and move to a new location on Collie Saloon near Costco. Work is expected to start early next year with a new location opening in April of 2022. And turning now to weather, Rob, there are some more storms and potential heavy rain in our forecast, right? Unfortunately, more heavy duty storms still in the forecast. That's why flash flood watch continues through Thursday. Showers and thunderstorms working their way back into Acadiana, southwest Louisiana later this evening and overnight tonight. Some locally heavy downpours possible and then we might get a little bit of a break during the day on Thursday. The but more showers and storms developing in the afternoon and the flood watch may continue into Friday because we continue to see more heavy duty rains across at least southwest Louisiana, southeast Texas and uh, then the rest of Acadiana as we head into the day on Friday. So some locally heavy downpours will continue, but better news on the way as we head into the weekend and that's reflected in the forecast rain chance overnight at 90%, 80% for your Thursday. It won't rain all day, but the same goes for Friday as well, but finally drier, quieter weather moving in as we get into the weekend and beyond. Of course, we'll have more in future KTC newscasts and thank you so much for watching this one.